Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. Well, summer's ended in a few days, so I thought I'd do a little update video here. I'll uh, let you know what uh, is in store for Ann and I come, come fall. So the last nine years, we've always traveled down into the U.S. And, and loved exploring down there and camping. A lot of boondocking in recent years. So um, the Love Your RV channel has always had lots of good travel videos in that time, but... Uh, the way the world is now, it looks like we're going to be staying put on Vancouver Island. Uh, currently, the U.S. border isn't even open to non-essential travel. Like, we can't even go there. Um, I think recently they're extending it again. They came to, seem to extend it every month. Um, I think it's October 21st is the next extension. Uh, I have a feeling they're probably going to keep extending it towards the year. Uh, if, if things pick up again with the virus and they get a second wave, it's probably going to be a washout this year. So we had to make the decision early on whether we were going to travel south or not. Just because in BC here the parks really fill up. This is kind of a snowbird destination for Canada. A lot of Canadians that live in really frigid areas come out here every year and spend the winter out here. So the parks are generally pretty full in the winter anyway and with this there's going to be so many Canadians that normally go south are going to be all flooding into BC. So back in May, May I actually reserved this spot just in case. And it looks like we're going to be staying here at least till 2021. Um, also, even if the border opened, it could be tricky getting proper medical insurance to cover things. And really the biggest thing is uh, health-wise, Anne is not in the greatest shape because she's battling a autoimmune system called polymalagia rheumatica, uh, PMR for short, and it's 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 an um, immune def it's an immune system disease. But uh, she takes uh, steroids and another drug, and they really lower her immune system. So if she got the virus, she could be in big trouble. So it's just not worth the risk. Um, we're pretty safe up here on Vancouver Island currently. There's not much uh, virus activity up here, so we feel pretty good up here. It's a small community. Um, we know the community, uh, all the shopping is very close by, and really it's it's still a beautiful place to spend the winter, a little cool, but still a really nice place. We got the estuary back there, we got the beaches here. Uh, in the winter time it'll be a lot less, uh, the tourists won't be here, so I won't be many people around, so I'll get out for some nice hikes and stuff like that. Because the weather out here, people often ask me what's the weather going to be like, well, it's generally going to rain a lot, going to be really wet, coolish days. Usually the days are, you know, around 4 or 5 Celsius, 40 degrees, nights sometimes down near freezing. And then you will get some cold snaps where you could get snow and ice and you could get a, a bout of really cold weather. Um, but generally there's a lot of wind and rain, especially here on the spit. I'm expecting a lot of wind. So anyway, I've been really busy in the last few weeks kind of figuring out what I need to do for winter. Um, I've just ordered some skirting and I've got the first stage installed. So as far as video is going to go, you're going to get all my videos as, as I winterize the rig and get it prepped for winter. So I got uh, skirting here. Um, I ordered a dehumidifier. So I'll give you a look at that and a review on the dehumidifier I chose. Uh, heated water hose was another one that I needed. I'm also going to put some window film on the windows. The ones we don't look at all the time. I'm going to put some shrink plastic. I uh, also got a little propane fire. So kind of like a, a bunch of new items that we generally didn't didn't need. And a whole new topic that I haven't explored too much is the winter winter camping. I um, also have a few reviews still on tap. Um, a company called Lensun sent me a 200 watt uh, solar blanket, they call it. Um, comes with an MPPT controller and everything, so I'll be reviewing and testing that. Also, Halo View. Um, you know, over the years I've used the Halo View camera system and done a lot of reviews for them. They have a new system called Halo View Ultimate Range Dominator. Anyway, it's a four camera system, so I'm going to be installing that on the rig and testing it out. Um, so there's a few uh, decent reviews coming up. Also, I'm pretty close to 75,000 subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. It really means a lot to me to have so many people watching me. Anyway, to show my appreciation, I'm going to do a big giveaway when I hit 75,000. Should be probably another, maybe not even a month from now, I'll probably hit 75,000. So 
as an appreciation, I'm going to give back a bunch of stuff that that I don't really use. You know, I get a lot of review items, and uh, one of them is the uh, 100 amp hour SOK lithium battery that'll be in a giveaway. Uh, the Jackery 500 box. I have a 1,000 and a 500, so I decided I don't need the 500. And uh, a company called Bouge RV is sending me a couple carrying cases for the Jackery, so I'll include a carrying case with that Jackery 500. Um, a Casso rear view dash cam. It's like a rear view mirror um, dash cam. I reviewed it a couple months ago. I didn't, I didn't really like it for myself. I have a dash cam already, so I have no need for it, so I'll be giving that away. Also, a, a TireMinder i10 tire pressure monitoring system. Um, I tested that out and reviewed it a couple months ago as well. I have a, a easy, easy RV T, TPMS, so I don't really need it as well. So it's brand new. I'll, I'll be giving that away. And with the new Halo v, View system I'm installing, I'm going to end up at least with one brand new Halo View system and another used one. So package them up. So anyway, there'll be a, a lot of to choose from. It'll be a total random draw, no strings attached, anything like that. So stay tuned for that. If you don't uh, um, subscribe to the channel, you can subscribe, put the notifications on, or you can also uh, subscribe to my newsletter because I'll, I'll announce it then. And we'll probably give people a week to, uh, to, to uh, get into the giveaway draw and then I'll draw. And then it'll take me some time to package things up and send them out wherever people live. Um, lithium, the Jackery and the lithium battery, there might be a little issue shipping that, but I'll take care of all the shipping to make sure the, the people who win the draw get their prizes. Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to give you an update because I get so many questions now, especially with all of this going on. Where are you going? What's going to happen for the winter and stuff like that. So I thought I'd just do a quick update video for you and stay tuned. Next video will be the installation of my main skirting. Till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com. Cheers, folks.